Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the example 12 from chapter 2 triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorems 2.1 to 2.9, exercises 2.1 to 2.4 and examples 1 to 11. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly let us begin with the video. Example 12 from chapter 2 triangle says in figure 2.50, if AD is perpendicular to BC, Prove that AB square plus CD square is equal to BD square plus AC square. So this is the figure and they have given us that in this triangle AD is perpendicular to BC. Now we have to prove that AB square plus CD square is equal to BD square plus AC square. So how are we going to prove this? Since AD is a perpendicular to base BC, Therefore, it forms a right angle both the sides, right? Here, it, this is a 90 degree angle. Similarly, both the sides of the perpendicular will form a 90 degree angle. Let us name this as angle 1 and this as angle 2. So, since this is a perpendicular, then both the sides of this perpendicular will form a right angle triangle. That is triangle ABD and triangle ADC. Both of them form a right angle triangle right so since both of them form a right angle triangle therefore we will apply pythagoras theorem and we will solve this problem okay so first of all let us write down what is given in the question given in triangle abc ad is perpendicular to bc and we have to prove that ab square plus cd square is equal to BD square plus AC square. Okay, this we have to prove. So now let us write down the proof. Now since AD is perpendicular to BC, therefore we can say that ang angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees. Right? Triangle ADB and triangle ADC will form a right angle triangle. So write down since AD is perpendicular to BC which is given therefore angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to 90 degree therefore triangle ADB and triangle ADC are a right angle triangles so therefore now let us consider the first triangle ADB so therefore in triangle ADB let us apply the Pythagoras theorem okay so from Pythagoras theorem we have hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus the perpendicular square so which is the hypotenuse so this is a 90 degree angle so side opposite this angle is the ab okay so we will take hypotenuse as ab so that is ab square equal to the base square so here base is bd and the perpendicular is ad so that will be equal to bd square plus ad square okay so let this be equation one now similarly let us apply the pythagoras theorem in triangle adc so now in triangle adc from pythagoras theorem we have hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus the perpendicular square so here which is a hypotenuse the hypotenuse is ac since it is opposite the 90 degree angle therefore we have ac square equal to base is cd square plus the perpendicular is again ad square so let this be equation number two so if you observe what we have to prove we have to prove ab square plus cd square is equal to bd square plus ac square here in equation 1 and 2, we have AB square value and AC square value. But we have to add AB square plus CD square. So from equation 2, let us find out the value for CD square. Now let us send this AD square to the left hand side. So we will get CD square is equal to AC square minus AD square. Right? Sending this value AD to the other hand side. We are getting the cd square value so let this be equation 3 now let us add equation 1 and 3 adding 1 and 3 we will get ab square 
plus cd square both are on left hand side now we will add the right hand side's value of equation 1 and 3 in equation 1 we have bd square plus ad square and in equation 3 we have plus ac square minus ad square so here you can observe that plus ad square and minus ad square will get cancelled therefore ab square plus cd square is equal to bd square plus ac square this is what we had to prove right ab square plus cd square is equal to bd square plus ac square so this is very simple if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video let us solve example 13 from chapter 2 triangles so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc insert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 2 triangles shown on the screen thank you